Check it out. It's lit. Anna owns it. She's the best. Tell the people what we're doing. We are about to adopt a Flemish giant rabbit, which is a big commitment. It's really different than these little guys. These are considered dwarf rabbits. They're Holland Lofts. <laughs> They're dummies. <laughs> They're enjoying their pellets right now. You're going to have a new sibling and if you guys didn't know i guess we really haven't vlogged that much since we got these rabbits like my bad i've just been feeling like shit and haven't it's been my last party to vlog which i we really want to change that we both really want to vlog more so anyway these i've fallen in love with rabbits since i've got these guys i'm such a rabbit person now if you don't follow my no at instagram it's at mile high zoo is he eating litter welcome to my life adina Stop used her shit. litter box like a good girl oh yeah i know look at her she hopped in there and took a little deuce did you good baby yes rabbits can be litter trained guys it's a little hard with her because she's not spayed yet she's getting spayed in a few days but he got it down as soon as he was neutered anyway i'm rambling now but we have decided to get one more rabbit we found this rabbit through rescueme.org she's pretty young she's under i think she's like five Five and a half months ish and she was born November 11th so we're gonna go pick her up from her foster mom right now and I'm super excited and then rabbits aren't the easiest to bond from what I've read sometimes it can be easy sometimes it can be really difficult so we won't just be like throwing her in here with them she's gonna be in a separate room upstairs at first and then she also needs to get spayed and then we'll start bonding them I mean we'll kind of play it by ear I'm not sure how soon I'll try and everything so we are heading over to the foster mom's house who's very worried about her, very sad that she's leaving, uh, which is understandable. I can't imagine fostering. It'd be so hard not to want to keep all the pets you foster, but she says she already has a ton of rabbits and she can't have any more, but she loves her and she's, she says she's going to be a great pet for us. So I feel like it's a great situation. I'm really excited. I was just going to say though, real quick, this is our old podcast room. All of our podcasting equipment and table was in here. But we made it into but. the rabbit room. <laughs> Anyway, all right, we're gonna be back with your sister, your very large <laughs> sister. We are getting, they're dwarfs, and this rabbit is a Flemish giant. Giant. So we have a giant rabbit and, and some dwarfs. Rabbit. Perfect for us, like so mythical sounding. Oh. Um, so, yeah, all right, let's go get her. You're getting feisty because you want a treat, huh? You already had one. Josh is like, oh my god, how did I get talked into this? Yeah, I have no clue. We have eight pets. I don't know why it's I said yes, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. She wants me to like meet her outside of her house so that her other pets don't bark and stuff and scare her. We gotta sign a contract. My signature is so messy. <laughs> that was all good. All right. And then here's your pet back. <laughs> Thank you. Right. See ya, bye. She's such a pretty bunny. Here she is. My bunnies love this. Your brother and sister love them. Oh, yes, and you do too. Treats? Hi, baby. <laughs> She's a big bunny, huh? Is your litter box? Good girl. Very good. She's, She's a hay eater. Hay. Yeah. yeah. She's really into hay. We'll get her some freaking hay, dude. What are you doing? All right, I'll go down and get her some hay. I'll be right back. You stay with her. You stay with your daddy. Gosh, she has like purple eyes. I already really like you. We're going to be best friends. I brought you tunnels, one half of the set of tunnel we have. <laughs> and I brought you toy. Toy? I brought a bunch of their toys so that they could, she could start getting their scent. I thought that was yeah. nice. Good girl. Here we go. You want hay? She loves hay. She's about to meet Josh. <laughs> oh yeah, she's totally good. She's so calm. We have Bernie in here. Does he even like see her? 
Has he noticed her yet? Yeah, he has. He's trying to go over there and check her out. She's used to dogs and cats, so I think she's fine. Good boy. He says, wow, you're a big rabbit. <laughs> Careful, B. Good boy. He's so gentle. I knew he could. Oh! Sadie loves bunnies, but I don't know. She's sometimes a little forward and she gets a little too excited to see them. Do you see Sadie? You that blind? <laughs> Who's that? Is this a bunny? You can let her see her. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, Sadie, that's enough. Yeah, she's so good with dogs though. Wow. She really loves her litter box. Girl. I think Arya is the name. We were we want to keep it like Greek mythology themed. The other two bunnies are Apollo and Athena. So I thought about naming her Artemis. We've talked about Selene, Persephone, um, but there's one name Arya that's not a Greek god or goddess, but it's in Greek mythology. Arya was a mortal. Yeah, and Arya in Game of Thrones is a complete badass. So. That's true. Yeah. And then Arya hooked up with Apollo in Greek mythology and they had yeah. a baby together. So, yeah. like a I half mortal perfect. baby. And then that way they're all A's too. All yeah. the rabbits are A's. I like it. I actually love the name Arya. So. Alright, well that's it. I think that's her name. Arya. Arya. Okay, I'm happy to report Bunny Girl's doing very well in here. Arya. I think we're going to name her Arya. She's been so comfortable with me, like we've been bonding so much. You never have to go anywhere else. This is your final destination. But yeah, she's doing really good in here. Um, her foster mom said that she didn't have like a full room like this to run around in, so she's not used to all this space. And I think she's really enjoying it because she has been like cruising all around in here, exploring, making laps. Hi, Sadie. You're sad you can't go in there? Oh my God, it smells so good. Mmm, Josh is making us some delicious tacos tonight. Chef Josh, what are you chefing up tonight? My world's famous tacos, baby. World's famous tacos. Um, and this time I'm gonna try them with, Josh has them with, black yeah, I'm gonna have refried black beans. Yeah. Ooh, yum. I haven't been into meat. I've completely given up red meat. Um, I was just doing chicken and turkey for the last, like, no, about a year actually and yeah I'm even getting sick of that too so pretty much just fish these days the rabbit is doing so good babe yeah yeah I'm I never excited. thought in a million years I'd have a giant rabbit <laughs> but it's fucking awesome man I'm so they're so cool why is no one resting in front of the fire I always turn this on so a animal can lay here and enjoy the fire go lay down Beazle, lay down Good boy. All the way. Good boy. He's gonna lay there for like three seconds. Watch. If I walk away, he's done. Yep. <laughs> she's already like happy though. Yeah, she's definitely comfortable. She's just having some greens. She's already turning down the spinach because I gave her basil and now she wants more basil. <laughs> you remind me of Lily. Like you're like a big cat. Yeah. She and Sadie keep playing with the tunnels. <laughs> well, Bunny Girl's all settled in for the night. She's enjoying her veggies. How Miss Bun is doing in the morning. I should just start calling her Aria. We're totally gonna name her that. Aria, Aria. Gotta start getting you used to your name. See what I mean about the snow, you guys? This literally came in overnight. It was sunny yesterday. Oh, but Big Bunny Girl's doing so good. We just had a morning bonding petting session. She loves to be pet. She's a total sweetie. Oh. This one's really, really ripe. <laughs> So when the weather gets shitty, I normally end up with pain and I like to take baths. I'm obsessed with taking baths. I just use like any type of bubble bath and then I mix essential oils with them. 
and this acts as like a carrier because if not they'll just sit on top i wanted to mention this essential oil shop i showed this on my instagram stories already but it is the best etsy shop she doesn't send me any product for free i don't get paid for saying this or anything but i am so in love with this shop like for example this one's peaceful calm i will use some of that today this one has some really high quality oils in it aroma soothe this one's great for muscular tension supports circulation and you can find this on etsy at essential herb so it's essential herb dot etsy.com and you can actually use the code kendall ray for a discount and again i don't get paid for that this bath bomb cracks me the fuck up this is part of lush's like easter spring line look at that sheep wow how tragic oh my god that was Wow, I have to say, I think this is one of the best smelling Lush bath bombs I've ever smelled. Like, it's almost like vanilla peppermint. It's so good. We're trying to get Girl. the bunny out of the Come room. On, Aria. Girl, Aria. <laughs> She's so cool. Where are you going? This is the bed. This is where the best cuddles happen. I ended up in vacuuming and then I found this. Oh my God. So she seems completely fine. Dude, she may have even already had the most no. of you when you saw her. Because they I don't know how long they've been here.